you're gonna love this. Craig Metrich part two. Knowledge is the gift. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind. Thinking. So guess what? Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind, maybe I'm only human. This is a live vlog part two talking about online business. Let's get into it. I need a thumbs up, a love and a like if the signal is good. And we're going to talk about part two of creating an online business. Go and look at part one was the vlog I did yesterday. And I'm going to go through the key cards, which is the summary notes, which is a follow up of yesterday's vlog. And then if I have enough time and signal, I will go online live and just show you some of the additional content. So let's get into it. First thing, create a business plan. I brought that up as point one yesterday and I wanted to flesh that out. So what are we looking at? Google Trends you need to look at as far as how you can flesh out your business plan. Reviewing the market, getting experts to review your numbers, finding your unique selling points and then very important, what's the scalability going to be like as far as your business if you take it online? And then also disaster recovery and backup. And yes, data and business value. In other words, business intelligence. When you go online, your business is definitely going to be data related. And you can learn from Google. You can learn from Facebook. Facebook's about 98.5% of the uh, revenue is from how they utilize advertising. And the real value is the data, right or wrong. Also following up from yesterday, this is the Good News Channel, Craig Metrich talking about an online business. A lot of you asked and reached out to me to talk about online and I said I'd share some key points. Select a search friendly domain, very important. Use who's who, it's a look up and you can find out what's available. Look at the uh, competitors that are out there. Important for you is to get a logical look up choice, in other words, what would be easy for anybody to look it up quickly? And don't forget about 85% plus is on your smartphone. It needs to be fast and very, very easy to utilize on your smartphone. Uh, five years review on search trends. Yes, you can go and look this up quite easily when you are, instead of guessing, you can go and look up, for example, let's say you want to get into the cell phone industry, smartphones. You can go and look up what are the trends over the last five years and you can see what is the consumer looking for without uh, thumb sucking what they're looking for. In actual fact, the history goes back uh, more than five years, but yeah, you can go and check that out. It's brilliant. And then look at what else is similar in the market that you're looking to get into. I used yesterday just an example. If you're looking up, uh, let's say, running shoes, okay, how you would look at the search what you would find, you'd see your competitors, what type of styles there are, what price points are there. So for every product and service, there's a lot of work you need to do before you actually take it online. Then let's say you're now ready, you want to go online, what's entailed? Secure the name, but don't secure a name that you think is lovely, because you like it. Secure a name that your target audience, your customers will find appropriate and applicable. Uh, my t one channel is called celebrities1.tv. Absolutely, I would have liked a shorter name, but it doesn't work that way. When I first launched that channel, I had to have videocelebritynews.com because that was all that was available. So yeah, you need to take a lot of time and effort in finding out what's available in the market. Uh, don't have too many websites. Location is important. And then important is security for sure. And then look at your associated links and competitors. So be careful with that one because you might want to choose a name and without they're not doing enough research and not realize that the associated websites to a similar name that you love might not be good for your business as far as long term brand association. I'm going through this as quickly as possible. Then we're going to go to the actual website live and see if I can just show some of these elements live, how they work in, in the real world on a website. Okay, website builder, point from yesterday, carrying on part two, Craig Metrovich, taking your business online. Spend to get the best template. Okay, it makes sense. You have to spend money to go online. Okay, uh, it does cost money. Nothing's for free. Note I said that yesterday. It's all billable. But what is important, whatever template you go for, whatever uh, website content management system you go for, find out what does it cost after the fact. 
then to develop it. All right, so look at the, what they call developer's rates. In other words, what would it cost you to maintain it? What would it cost you to outsource it? What would it cost you to develop and take it to the next level? All right, always view on PC, tablet, and mobile. I use WordPress quite a bit. I enjoy it because it's quite easy to view between the different, the three different formats. And I will show you that just now when we go live online and I'll show you the actual site. Colors, fonts, text, very important for creating your style and your look and feel. And then wireframe. What is a wireframe? That is like the outline. It is a template, you could say, of the website, the layout of the website. So there we need to remove the complexity. Uh, Click-throughs, you don't want as, as few click-throughs as possible. And how to measure your website. Guess what? Think about what you love. What app do you love? What set website do you buy from all the time? What app or website impresses you on your smart, smartphone all the time? Why do you love that app? Why is it so effective? And then learn from that and then utilize it in your online business. Alloc allocate time to refresh content. Websites in general, online businesses require a heck of a lot of time. And then I've put in another point, uh, ex user experience interface. In other words, the design. If you can, get a couple of friends in there to test your website and your, uh, your app, should I say, the online side before you really roll it out. You know, you can get some of their feedback. I'm going through this as quickly as possible, and then we'll go into the actual site itself just as, as a demo. Enable e-commerce plugin. So what's a plugin? I don't get people asking, what does that mean? You get... The website itself, and then within the website, you can choose different types of e-commerce plugins. Do your homework on that as well, because once you, you, know, you grab the plugin and you link it, then guess what? You're going to put a lot of time and effort to populate it, and you want to make sure it's right. Uh, I'm not going through all the points, but very important is the tax compliant, local support, currency conversion. All those are very important. So don't just go and select a site because everybody else says it's great. Is it great versus your local requirements? Okay. Is there support locally? Is there a call center locally available? Is there a physical building locally available? In other words, are you going to get tangible support from whatever you roll out as far as your e-commerce business? Marketing. Oh my gosh. The X factor on anything going online. I use a lot of live video because it's authentic, it's real, it's uncut, it's raw, it's unedited. And, and I just love that, uh, you know, it is what it is. It makes it authentic. So you could do live unboxing of your products as an example. Podcasts are powerful. I um, mean, look at what Cliff Central has done. Uh, they are leaders in, in, in podcasting. So you can go and look them up and get learn some things from that. But podcasts are powerful promoting your product as far as marketing. Customer reviews. Never underestimate the power of customer reviews. And you need to take those seriously. And you can also utilize them as testimonials. Almost wrapping up on the bullet points. And then I'm going to go into the site live. This is Craig Metridge, the Good News Channel. Sharing some knowledge on building a business online. Giving you some key points to consider to take your business online in these challenging, crazy times, right? Love your brand. You know, this is very important. I love what I do. And hence, you know, it's easy for me to wake up in the morning and decide this is what I want to do. Share, inspire, empower, and uplift you. So in your business, you need to look at how you can get your branding, not only to be loved by you as in passionate by you, but how can you get other people to buy in? And there we have influencers, which now, by the way, there's quite a bit of legislation that's changed that you need to be aware of. So they need a report that they are paid to do the promotions. And then think about celebrity sports stars. You know, they're not always that expensive to get to endorse your product, your service or your brand or your company, should I say. But what is very important is the conversion ratio. In other words, you don't want somebody who's got, let's say, 1 million followers, but they can't sell any of your products or services tangibly or have a track record of that. Okay. So there's a big misunderstanding between how many views, how many followers, how many subscribers you got. That doesn't always directly link to how much business you're going to get. 
Right, so if you have 10 million followers and viewers, doesn't mean you're going to get sales if you take your product online. It has to be appropriate to the target audience. That's a very important thing. There are lots of examples on YouTube where somebody only has 400 subscribers, yet they're making a fortune from their promotions, etc., because they are very specialized. They're not a celebrity. They're not a sports star. They, they're not a YouTube top 10 vlogger. What they are is a guru, an expert, a professor, somebody that knows their content so well that their 400 subscribers are happy to become members and are happy to pay towards, say, their backer buddy campaign, etc. Right, leading to the final point here, and then I'm going to go online if I can and multitask and show you some of the, just the practicalities of how a website looks for those that don't know. So volume value, value is very important to achieve the return on investment. So whenever you look at something going online, it is not going to be easy. It's going to be easier with people like me sharing content, but it's hard work, right? It's like starting any business. It's going to require a heck of a lot of work, lots of time, lots of effort, preparation, research, but it's not as complicated as you thought prior to watching Part one and part two. Right, so Craig Metrovich, I trust that that gave you a little bit of a snapshot on what it's all about. I'm just trying to share with you the ins and outs of setting up your business and taking it online. Uh, and in part one, I really wanted to energize you and get you, you know, to understand. Look, you can learn all these things. You can find out online through search engines, different things on how to do WordPress, how to do Wix how to do an e-commerce site per se, what are the different applications, because a lot of you are now seriously having to consider taking your business online. And my strategy in these vlogs is to just inspire you and energize you to take that first step, should I say. Let's go into uh, the actual site. I'm going to use a site as an example. Bear with me, I'm just multitasking. And uh, please, comments, just send me via Messenger any comments, and I will try and respond to those accordingly. And just you know, in, in, uh, share with you some of the stuff that I know. I don't know all the answers, obviously, but I have built over 40 websites. And so from that point of view, I've learned probably the lots of mistakes, what not to do versus what to do. And I can take some of the pain and suffering away for you by uh, just making it a quicker process for you. Right, let's get my face out of here. I wanna go straight into showing you the actual uh, site. Right, here we go. Okay, so yesterday I touched on this. This is just a WordPress example. It's one of my sites. And I wanted to just show you the wireframe. What is a wireframe template? So this is really the layout, right? And as you can see, it might seem over the top initially. But what I love about it is there's a lot of logic to it. So the layouts of the pages, you just scroll as an example. This is all live, by the way. Okay, This is not screenshots. So you'll see that's the layout of my actual website. That's under yourpowerful.com. All the different content. And then on this side of the actual site, and this is really just to show you that you don't have to be scared about trying to create your own website. Okay, It's posts that you would actually populate. The media library, which is where you would add all your photographs, your videos, your PDFs, all of that would go in there. I'll click in there intentionally just to show a bit of a layout. Okay, as you can see, pictures, thumbnails, whatever you've got in there would be in the media library. A little bit further down, I'll show you the pages, comments, gallery. What's great is you can set up different types of galleries with different uh, links is uh, the customization. I touched on that yesterday. I want to go a little bit more into that because I'm trying to keep this short and to the point. There are different themes. So this one is a, a 17 theme. You get a 20 theme right now. And that really is the template style. So go and check that out. If I click on here, site identity, there's your logo. If I click back there, this is really to show you how easy it actually is. Header media, you can put in your own videos, your own styles, uh, check this out, your own PNGs, 
your own gifts. All that terminology might sound a little bit French to you, but it's not. It's just pictures, different styles of pictures. Widgets, such a cool thing in WordPress as widgets you can load. You can load different templates that, uh, sorry, different plugins that connect to the template. Uh, let me just show you what I mean. There's a footer, there's a blog post you could have, and that is just to populate, for example, your address, your telephone number, and all that type of stuff at the bottom of your web page. Home settings, theme options, I'm not going to go into that. And those who know coding, so anybody who says, oh man, I know all of this stuff, then guess what? You can put additional coding in here. In other words, by using coding, you can change the background, you could change the logos, you could change the styles. In other words, all these elements that I'm showing you here, just scrolling through my site, okay, this is live. All those elements you could change very quickly online, instantly. All right, this is heading towards the wrap-up. So let's just go into there quickly. Let me get me back into frame. There we go. Right, so this is Craig Metrich, celebrities1.tv, the good news channel. And this is part two, just to share with you some knowledge about how you could go online and build your own website. I will put the slides that I show you, the templates up, the keynotes, I call them. I will put them up now now so that you can just follow them through when you decide to take your business online. Uh, and I really, really want to support you and encourage you to take some time, think it through. It is a business that you're creating almost from scratch. So don't just uh, you know think about it as in, oh, I'm taking it online. I'll use exactly what I've done in my current business model. You certainly need to now look at how you can take your business to the next level. And then, and look at, for example, I'll use like Take A Lot. They're a great example of how businesses have gone online. They've grown exponentially over the years. But if you go and do your research, you'll see they've taken many years to get that business to operate. And at their scale, it obviously takes a lot of funding at their scale. So for you, my audience, this is Craig Metrovich wishing you all the best in setting up your online business. Love you, care for you, want you to be successful. That's a wrap.